Oh, hi, baby. You're finally home. How was your day? Yeah, it was really long. Come here, sweets. Tell me all about it. You still have something to finish up. Have you at least eaten anything already this evening? I thought so. Well, don't worry. I've left you some dinner. It's waiting for you in the fridge. No problem, sweetie. I figured that you might have forgotten that dinner is a thing, too. Hey, honey, are you all right? You don't seem to be yourself. You are very quiet. Hmm. Okay, if you say so. Maybe you just need something to eat. Want me to get it for you? You sure? All right. Just heat it up for a couple minutes and it should be ready to go. Sweetie, I'm sorry to say so, but you don't look all right. Why? Because you're staring at your dinner while stabbing it slowly to death with your fork. But you haven't even eaten a little bite. You're not hungry at all after a day like this? You aren't getting ill, are you? Stomach pain? Headache? No. Are you sure? And what is it, hon? Hey, let me see your beautiful face. God, you look exhausted. What is the matter? No, it's clearly not nothing. Tell me, baby, please. I think there's more going on than just a little tired. You look absolutely drained. Your eyes are red. You're pale and you won't even look at me. Uh, here, grab my hand and come with me. Where are we going? We're going to sit on the couch. That's much more comfortable than the kitchen. And it doesn't look like you're going to finish your dinner anyway. Come on. Here we go. Hey, don't sit so far away from me. Come on, baby. Come in closer. That's better. I'll wrap us up in a blanket burrito. Here we go. Don't turn yourself away from me, baby. Why are you so distant? At least look at me, please. You look so pale and so tired. You are a hundred percent sure you aren't getting sick, right? Okay, okay. Then what is it, baby? No, I can clearly see you're not fine. Is it, um, that time of the... No? Okay, then that's not it either. Then tell me, baby. What is it? Don't start with the just a little tired again. I know you. You are not just a little tired. You are exhausted and you look at the end of your rope. Do you really think I haven't noticed you haven't slept in the last week or so? Of course I noticed. You're coming home from work later every day, and you continue here till super late in the evening. You hardly even notice what's going on around you. When you finally come to bed, you keep tossing and turning, and in those few hours that you can call your night, you get up multiple times. You don't need to say sorry for waking me up, sweetie, but we have to do something about this because you're going to wreck yourself if you continue like this. I know that your job can be stressful and busy sometimes, but it never affect you this badly. So tell me, babe, what's going on? What? Your boss can't possibly ask that from you, or anyone for that matter. That's just not possible. Doesn't he realize you and your colleagues are not robots? Yeah, no. I understand this is important stuff, and I know you love your job, babe. But you guys are drowning in work. This can't continue like this. 
Uh, at least he apologized. That's something. But what is he going to do about it? That would be nice. So till then, it's crunch time, yeah? No wonder you're stressed, hon. But if anyone can do it, it's you. I believe in you. Wait, that's not all. Wow. Yeah, that's a handful. I'm so sorry, hon. That's a lot to take on. I know you want to see them happy, but between work and this... You can't take the problems of the whole world on your shoulders. Why do they all come to you? I think I have a pretty good idea why that is. It's because you're such a wonderful person and they trust you. They know that you'll listen and try to do everything in your power to help. But you can't help them and neglect yourself in the meantime. No wonder with all this you feel like you're drowning. What? Honey, slow down a bit. What are you saying? Sweetie, what is the matter? Oh, baby, you're shaking. Deep breath. Come here, let me hold you. No, it's okay. Just breathe for me, okay? Oh, baby. Shh. Don't cry. Shh. Actually, scrap that. Cry all you need, honey. Get it off your chest. I've got you. I'm right here, and I'm not letting go. It's going to be all right, baby. You're going to be all right. I promise. Whatever it is, we'll handle it, okay? Just let it all out, sweets. It's okay. You're right here, in my arms. And I'm not letting anything get to you. That's it, baby. Nice and calm. Deep breaths. Let me wipe those tears off that beautiful face of yours. Now try to tell me again. What else is bothering you so much? Oh, no, no, baby. What are you getting into with that lovely mind of yours? You are working so hard. You are doing everything you can and more. And I can admire you for that. You are bombarded with your work, and then there's your family, your friends, all wanting your attention for all kinds of reasons. You still try and manage to do all the work around the house. The only thing you seem to forget is to take care of yourself. Me? No, sweetie, don't worry about me. I know you're busy. I've been there myself. Of course I miss you when times like this happens. But every time I look at you, I see an amazing, beautiful, smart, witty, wonderful person. And most of all, the woman I love so, so much. I can't have you putting yourself down like that. You really need to start giving yourself some attention, too. I know you find that the least important, but... Hmm. If you're not going to take care of yourself, I will. When life takes the best of you, I'm going to make it as easy for you as I possibly can. For as long as you need it, I'll make sure that you don't have to worry about any work around the house and you come home to a nice dinner every evening. Of course these arms are here to wrap you up and keep you warm and sane whenever you need them. Hey. Yes. Opening a pot of sauce and boiling pasta totally counts as cooking. <laughs> I just lack some inspiration today, okay? And although you didn't want to eat it earlier, my dinner was of outstanding quality. It was the expensive kind of sauce. <laughs> I'm happy to see that I at least got a little smile out of you. Oh, sweetie, don't feel bad about it. 
Let me take care of you for once. You always make sure to take care of me in our home. Let me return the favor. I love you, baby. Now, do you want that dinner still? Or maybe a cup of tea? Tea. All right. Coming right up. No, don't get up. I'll get it for you. You just stay here and relax a bit. You need it. What kind of tea do you want? No, I'll go make it for you. You just stay put. Babe, have you fallen asleep? Almost. <laughs> no, it's okay, baby. You still want this tea? Okay, I'll put it right here. Scooch over a little so I can sit too. No, no, no. Stay here, baby. Don't get up. What do you mean you have to get up anyway? No, there is no way I'm going to let you open up that laptop and do more work. Not tonight. Tonight, right about now, I'm going to carry you to bed and you're going to get that much needed rest and I won't accept any protest. I know you can walk on your own, but I said I was going to take care of you and I mean it. Wrap your arms around my neck. Yes, like that. I'm going to slip my arm behind your back and right here under your knees and up you go. Here we are. Let's cuddle up. Right here. Right in my arms. Let's pull the covers nice and warm around us. Hmm. Perfect. Nope. Nope. There is no more work that needs to be done right now. Right now, you need rest. Shh. You don't have to say anything, sweetie. I'm right here, and I love you so very much. Everything is going to be alright. Tomorrow is another day. For tonight, all you need to do is relax your mind and body and drift off to dreamland. I can feel you dozing off again. No, don't fight it. Just let it take over. You need it. Sleep tight, baby. I love you.